When a new state is created, is it given the same rights as the original 13 states? The United States Supreme Court answered this question in Pollard v. Hagan. In 1802, Georgia ceded some of its land to the federal government. In the deed of session, Georgia stipulated that all of the land it ceded to the federal government was ceded for the sole purpose of creating new states. In 1809, the Spanish government granted William Pollard a tract of land on the banks of the Mobile River in present-day Alabama. The land was sometimes covered by water during high tide. At the time, there was a question of which country owned the land that would become Alabama. Spain still owned some of the land in the area in a territory known as West Florida. Georgia ceded some of the land in question to the federal government. Later, the United States claimed that some of this land was purchased directly from France in the Louisiana Purchase. The boundaries of the different territories were often split by just a few degrees of latitude. Pollard died in 1816, and his heirs inherited his interest in the land. In 1819, Alabama became a state. In 1823, Curtis Lewis occupied Pollard's land and an adjacent parcel. Lewis filled in the land so that it was permanently dry land. Nine months after Lewis first occupied the land, Lewis was ousted by Pollard's heirs, who claimed that they had title to the land because of Pollard's Spanish grant. Lewis filed a lawsuit in Alabama State Court and reclaimed possession over the parcel of land. In 1836, Congress confirmed that Pollard's heirs had a land patent for the land. A land patent is a deed from the government to a private party. Pollard's heirs filed an action to eject Lewis's successors, represented by John Hagan, in Alabama State Court. Pollard's heirs claimed that the federal government's land patent from 1836 gave Pollard's heirs title to the land. Hagan argued that once Alabama became a state, Alabama gained title to the submerged lands under navigable waters. Therefore, Congress didn't have any power to confirm Pollard's land patent. The trial court found in favor of Hagan. Pollard's heirs appealed. The Alabama Supreme Court affirmed the trial court's judgment. Pollard's heirs appealed to the United States Supreme Court.